Strike a nerve. Drink some verve. Vervegeek.com. It's Geek Beat's three year anniversary in our current office. And no, that isn't an April Fool's joke. I'm John P. Let the madness begin. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Audible. Well, it's April 1st, and uh, that means, once again, it's time to celebrate our anniversary! Three years ago, people weren't quite sure if we were really moving from our little one-bedroom studio into this big 4,000-square-foot space, but you guys soon realized it wasn't a joke. We stepped it up big time, and it was one of the best moves we ever made. Now, we're celebrating our third anniversary by remodeling our new building, and the progress over there is pretty impressive. You haven't seen it in a couple weeks, so Callie and I wanted to give you a new update. Let's take it a look. Work started last week, and as you can see, they've made quite a bit of progress. This is the area that has asbestos in it, and had, uh, had asbestos. Uh, all this, everything has been torn apart. It is all gone. We are asbestos free. Yay! Um, so this is kind of what it looks like after they've, they've done their thing. Uh, we still have to get it inspected and the state's approval and all of that, but they're done. And that's been a, a very interesting piece of this. The uh, timelines that we were given, people are moving way faster so far, so far than they promised us. Um, as you can see, everything you know is is gone. All the sheetrock and everything. Uh, one thing I don't think you guys have seen yet in this room, from there where that jackhammer is, uh, and that you can see the ledge. There were all oh, this tile. It was a red Spanish tile, um, and we weren't actually aware that it was in this room as much as it was. So that they just in one day today, they took that jackhammer got it all ripped up and cleared and uh, it looks good so they're gonna have to come in here and level this to you know come float it up to the level of the actual you know, other concrete in the entire building but um that is the update here now on the asbestos it's very interesting um we we weren't expecting everything to happen as it did. It happened faster, but uh, things got a little bit more damaged <laughs> than we had planned on. So all of, a lot of the ceiling tiles and the, sh the sheet wrap, well, the ceiling tiles uh, were damaged much, much more than we thought. Um, and we did not budget for this. So that's gonna be an expensive a uh, cost that we did not plan for or budget to replace all these ceiling tiles. And, and I'm not exactly sure what happened, why certain parts were damaged more than others. I mean, if you look here, this hallway looks pretty good. Um, the sides were torn up a little bit where the sheetrock was taken out. But if you come over here to this side of the building, just pass through the kitchen, why don't you, John? I'll meet you over here. <laughs> um, you can look at this ceiling over here. It is completely torn apart. Um, so I'm not sure why, like, the difference in the different parts of the building. Who knows? I wasn't here. We weren't allowed in. So anyway, oh, real quick update. Drop cams are coming your way. We will have those shipped to us very soon. Please don't let me hit my head on a light. Um, <laughs> don't let one drop on your head. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so look for those updates coming soon at gb.tv slash drop cam. And John, uh, now that we're in safe territory here, I'm going to steal the camera from you and let you take it the rest of the way. Oh, uh, well, I wouldn't exactly call it safe. Keep in mind <laughs> the floor is real slippery in here. Yes, it is. The interesting thing is in this room when they took up all the tile and you saw that little scraper thing that they used, the machine, uh, they put some kind of a chemical or something and it melted the glue and so it's in places it's really sticky and somehow in places it's also really slippery like how can it be both sticky and slippery I don't know anyway come on there's not a lot to talk about in here 
there's uh, the, the demo work that Callie was just showing you, that occurred under a permit that allows for the removal of asbestos. In this room, we've got like all this wood, this wood tile, I mean, uh, what do you call it? Wood paneling. paneling. And like if you step in here, you'll see the, the other side of this. Um, by the way, this wall, the reason why it's removed on this side, this, this was a firewall across the width of the entire building. It had asbestos on this wall, on the joint compound, on the uh, sheetrock. But the other side is just the, the paneling. And actually, you want to you be really loud? Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see. So this is, this is the fun they're going to have in here. So just imagine this whole room, all the walls open like that. And then what's going to happen is they're going to come behind it and they're going to put sheetrock in everywhere. So that's why we, that's why we uh, spray painted the walls just for fun. So <laughs> anyway, let's come on back here. Dangling wires everywhere. One thing we found about this place was, oh my God, the people who were working here before, you want to talk about not up to code? It's just, I, I don't even know what to say. It's bad. So come on back here. This is where it gets fun. Uh, ceilings all removified, but um, this is our favorite area. The production area back here in the warehouse space is coming along nicely. And the most exciting thing back here, if we look up, Look how dark the ceiling is. It's black, Callie. That's because we now have, that used to be just, a, if, you, if you recall from one of the previous videos, that was just a metal roof. Uh, but there's now six inches of pin welded uh, insulation, and then it's covered with that black fabric, and they took really great care to cover it completely, even in areas where there were maybe small cuts that they had to make or things like that. They went over it with black tape and black spray paint to try and cover it up, so it's really a beautiful job. A lot of the other stuff that's in here is gonna be uh, getting cleaned up. For example, over in this area, uh, we've got the garage door opener. It's hanging out, it's hanging way out here. What I'd really like to do is for those of you who saw my garage at home, we put the, the little garage door openers that are on the side on the wall. So I'd really like to you know, take all this down and free up that space and put one of those little wall mount units over there. That would be awesome, but we don't have the budget for that right now. Um, but you see there's a pipe hanging out of the ceiling up there? There's also another one over there. The, the, that used to be where the gas heater was hanging. The vent was there and the gas pipe is there. They took those down because there was only heat in here before, and the reason for all this insulation is the AC that's coming, they're gonna mount it right on the center up there. We have a huge 10-ton unit. It's gonna cool this place off. All that work is starting, like, tomorrow. They're gonna to start with HVAC and all kinds of stuff. So, anyway, those are the updates for now. What about the file cabinets? Oh, the file cabinets. Anybody want a file cabinet? Free. Bring your truck, come get them. Back to you, John P. in the studio. And we're back. We also wanted to do something special for you guys as a thank you for watching. So in addition to the usual outlets, we're also finally bringing Geek Beat to home video. Yeah. Starting next month, we'll be releasing monthly compilations of Geek Beat on VHS in high quality stereo. You can sign up to receive your first copy free, and then every four to six weeks, we'll send you another for only $9.99. And as a special bonus, if you order now, we'll include a Flowbee. But you have to call in the next 10 minutes. 1-800-GEEKBEAT. That's 1-800-GEEKBEAT. Operators are standing by. Allow four to six weeks for delivery. Offer not valid in California, Nevada, New Mexico, Arizona, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, Alabama, Florida, Minnesota, New York, New Jersey, or Puerto Rico. You know where else you can get some high quality entertainment? Audiblepodcast.com slash geekbeat. Audible has over 100,000 titles to listen to and enjoy across just about every topic you can imagine. Want some job hunting or business advice? Done. Uh, do you need some sci-fi fantasy to pass the time? Check. 
Need a complete compendium on the many uses of viola horsehair strings, including mole removal, cheese cutting, and maggot dissection? No, no, God no! That does not exist, and no one would want it if it did, John. But if you're a normal person, you can go to audiblepodcast.com slash geekbeat and get one free audio book. Just tell them Callie sent you, not John. By the way, we had all of our hamsters running on high today, cataloging all the best April Fool's jokes. So head on over to geekbee.tv forward slash April Fool's 2014 to vote for your favorite joke of the day. Okay, can we talk about Updesks for a minute? Some of you may recall that our friends at Updesk announced they are donating all the desks for our new building. That has to go down as one of the most amazing housewarming gifts in history. But... They laid yet another surprise on us. Dave, did you know? What? Although we love the way the up desks are just the way they are, they told us, surely there must be something that we could change, right? And then we said like, no, not really. And they said, yes, there can be. So you guys get to customize them any way you want. So they offered to let us design our own completely custom work surface. We're going to call it the Geek Beat Edition Up Desk. (laughs) Very original, huh? Very original. Did you stay up all night working on that one? I worked on that very hard. Boy, that's cool. (laughs) I've also been working on a desktop shape that I think that I would like to use, but I'm not going to share it with you guys yet. Instead, I want you to tell me how you would customize your own custom Up Desk. What shape would the top be? Is it going to have cup holders in it? Grommets for the power strips and cables and routing? Wheels? What? What do you want? Send it in as a sketch or tweet me ideas or whatever. Maybe somebody can open a discussion on our forums because it's not a question of if this is going to happen, but what is going to happen. And if you want to get one of these super bad desks when they become available, you need to get your ideas in... Now, or forever hold your peace. I want mine to look like a pancreas. I'll work on that, Dave. (laughs) One last thing. Next week, Callie and I will be in Las Vegas for NAB. So first of all, please hunt us down and say hi because we really do want to meet you guys. We're also having a meetup at Earl of Sandwich. Look for that on our social media. And if you can't be there, make sure and watch us all day on Monday because we'll be co-hosting the Panasonic live show. Check the Geek Beat Google Plus feed for our event page so you can RSVP. Let us know if you're going to be watching. And Callie and I will also share it on our Google Plus and Twitters and the Facebook. You know all that. Anyway, that's it for today's updates. I'm John P. Stay classy, San Diego.